It seems like you lot have had a few problems and you need a bit of advice from your good old Aussie mates. So? Welcome to Ask an Aussie. OK. Stern Alex is heading to Oz to inspect hotels. Can you recommend any in your area that need an inspection? Well, you should head straight to Lassiter's Hotel. The place has a terrible health and safety record. They have fires there, murders, explosions. Bloke fell off the roof once. And the hotel owner, Paul, dodgy ass. A big brother contestant has called in. How do you cope with irritating people? Mate, it doesn't matter how I cope with irritating people. You're the one in the house and you're going to be in there for a long time, so you need to nip this in the bud. Give him a backhander and get him out of your space. So Jason Gadget's show wants to know if time travel has any adverse health effects. Well, you need to talk to a doctor who specialises in time travel. I don't know who that'd be. Me old mate Lou from Ramsey Street has emailed in. He feels like the young people in his area are getting very rowdy. It's all pool parties, fights and grog. We have got exactly the same problems here in the Bay, Louis old mate. We've got a mob called the River Boys. I don't know if they've been anywhere near a river. They spend all their time on the flaming beach. They look like they've rolled in a wet newspaper. There's ink all over them, up the arms, across the back. Fair dinkum, they'd rather get chicken pox than work. There's no respect anymore. The joint's going to the dogs. I reckon we ought to get together and try and fix this, cos the government we got's not going to fix it, is it? Hey, all they do is spend our flaming money and charge us more taxes. If we couldn't do a better job running the joint than they can, I'll go he, Louie, what about it? OK, Criminal on TV has emailed in. He's having an embarrassing problem with his face. Whenever he's filmed on TV, be it police interceptors or emergency bikers, his face seems to go really blurry. Is this normal? Totally. Your face will return to normal when they stop filming. If you're worried about being recognised, we have this expression in Australia, slip, slop, slap. You slip on a balaclava, you slop on some makeup, and you slap on a fake moustache. It's always worked for me. <laughs> Sheila's emailed in. She's had a nose job and thinks it might still be a bit pointy. Should she go in for another op? Why aren't you just happy with the body the good Lord gave you? Fair dinkum. Most blokes love you anyway. You just be happy with how you look, be bright, confident, get out there amongst it and get into it. So, Susan from Erinsborough has emailed in. Her husband is a notorious philanderer. Everyone in the neighbourhood knows his reputation. Should she stick with him? <laughs> he sounds like an idiot, Susan, from Erinsborough. I think this man sounds like a keeper. Everyone makes mistakes. You should stick with him.